ISRO has started the year 2024 on a positive note and has launched its maiden polarimeter satellite into the space. And this is what has been the New Year gift from India's pride to the nation. Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the topic ISRO launches Exposet satellite. Now ISRO as we all know stands for the Indian Space Research Organization, the body in India which looks after the space missions of India and Exposet is what we will be discussing in detail. So, Yesterday, that is the 1st of January, we were able to witness these amazing pictures and amazing visuals that ISRO has launched its maiden Exposet satellite, that is the polarimeter satellite. About the points of discussion, first we will be looking at the news, then about what is Exposet satellite, then the two scientific payloads that it carries with it, and in the end, prelims MCQ. Topic is of relevance from GS paper 3, that is science and technology. From exam perspective, you should be able to know that why is it important, what is the aim of it, what are the two payloads associated with it and what is like what is the meaning of the word polaro, polarimeter or polarization of light. So, let us look at the news. It talks about ISRO launches Exposet. What is the mission and its significance? Now, what is the mission is important for you to know. Can be asked in prelims, can be asked in mains, both. So, ISRO put its first and if it is first, it becomes all the more important. So, this is ISRO's first. All over the world, this is second because US NASA has already sent its satellite for polarimeter. So, this is first of ISRO all over second. So, ISRO put its first polarimeter mission, X-ray polarimeter satellite. So, the full form of Exposet is X-ray polarimeter satellite. So, the ray, the ray that we are talking about is X-ray polarimeter satellite. So, it is a satellite which will be looking into the X-rays and the polarization of X-rays. That so specifically, it is about polarization of X-rays. In a precise circular orbit of 650 kilometers. So, the orbit in which the, 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 the mission has been put is 650 kilometers, and this was a 21 mini, minute flight. And this is world's second satellite based mission dedicated to making X ray polarimetry measurement. So, X ray polarimetry measurement is what is the aim of the mission. First was United States of America. NASA, second is India, ISRO and India's first. So, about Exposet, X-ray polarimeter satellite. So, it is India's maiden mission dedicated to analyzing the polarization of X-rays. Polarization of X-rays. Now, here we need to know that what is the meaning of the word polarization. So, polarization means like imagine this is a place and this is a point or a place you can imagine whatever you want to imagine and there are light is coming in this point from many directions and then we will be able to see that what light is coming out of it is in one direction. So, this is which is coming in many direction is unpolarized and what is coming out in a single direction is polarized. So, polarization means that combination of things. So, when many things are coming together, it get polarized and becomes and it get polarized or you can say that the polarization is streamlining of things and then it moves in a single direction. Like for example, this is a light beam. So, we all know that light beam has, it comes out in a, from many direction. And this is unpolarized light because it is coming out in many directions. But then this is a polarizer and what the polarizer will do is that the unpolarized light which is coming out in many directions, 
इट विल पोलराइज द लाइट इट मीन्स इट विल मेक द लाइट स्ट्रीम लाइन इट विल मेक द लाइट स्ट्रीम लाइन नॉट मेनी डायरेक्शन द लाइट विल फॉलो सो दिस इज वॉट विल हैपन दैट थ्रू द एक्सपोसेट सेटेलाइट the aim is to see how the x rays is polarized and the places from where the x rays are emerging how the polarization of x rays are taking place that if the rays are coming from many places then those places where the polarization of x rays are taking place like for example you can say like the black hole from where the light is coming you can say the stars the nebula th these are the places from where the light is coming so light must be coming from many directions then how the polarization of x rays are taking place this is what we need to see analyzing the polarization of x rays emanating from bright celestial sources in the medium frequency band bright celestial sources as i told you is like the black holes the stars in the medium frequency band so the band in which they, the 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 polarization of x rays needs to be studied has to be in the medium frequency band so this is what is the main objective to see and study the polarization of x rays from bright celestial bodies like the black hole like the stars like the nebula and then it is happening in a medium frequency band and then the mission life that is the total life of exposet satellite is about 5 years then exposet will observe sources that emit polarized light so the sources where the polarization of x rays takes place the aim is to study those places and then the spacecraft is designated for observation from low earth orbit so the spacecraft or the satellite will be placed in the low earth orbit that is around the altitude of 650 kilometers and an inclination of 6 degrees so the exposet satellite which will be placed will be placed in the low earth orbit at an altitude of around 650 kilometers and the inclination angle will be around 6 degrees so i think few things are clear first of all the aim that is to study the source of polarized light that is the source of x rays so sources that emit polarized x rays this is the aim the the satellite will be placed in the low earth orbit altitude of around 650 kilometers the mission life is 5 years and then the inclination angle is 6 degrees so these are the important things for you and the exposet satellite will have two payloads it has two payloads in it one is polix that is p o l i x that stands for x ray polarimeter and the second is xspect that stands for x ray spectroscopy and timing so there are two payloads polix and xspect now let's talk about the two scientific payload first of all about the polix as i told you it stands for the x ray polarimeter and this will be world's first instrument designed to operate in the medium x ray of 10 to 30 kilo electron volt energy band so this will be the first instrument which will be operating in the medium x ray band in the starting only i told you that the medium x ray band and what is the uh, what is the range of the medium x ray band then that is 8 to 30 kilo electron volt so 8 to 30 kev is the band then Polix is built by the Raman Research Institute, Bangalore. Raman Research Institute has has built the Polix, and it comprises of a polymeter, and that is to filter light originating from bright sources in the field of view. So the light, how it is filtered, which is originating from the bright sources. so it bright sources you can say the stars the black hole that if the light is originating from it how the light is getting filtered it means how the light is getting polarized so just to study that how the light is getting polarized how the x rays are getting polarized this is what it has to see then second is 
कि एक्स एस पी ई सी टी इट स्टैंड फॉर एक्स रे स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड टाइमिंग इट इज डिजाइन टू कंडक्ट फास्ट टाइमिंग एंड हाई स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपिक रेजोल्यूशन इन अ सॉफ्ट एक्स रे एनर्जी बैंड एंड द बैंड विल बी ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट एट टू फिफ्टीन किलो इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट सो दिस इज द रेंज देन ऑल्सो टू ऑब्जर्व अ वेराइटी ऑफ सोर्सेज लाइक एक्स रे पल्सर्स ब्लैक होल लो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड न्यूट्रॉन स्टार्स और एक्सेट्रा नाउ दीज आर द ब्राइट सेलिस्टियल बॉडीज फ्रॉम वेयर द ओरिजन ऑफ लाइट और फ्रॉम वेयर द लाइट और द एक्स रेज आर कमिंग लाइक लाइक द ब्लैक होल न्यूट्रॉन स्टार्स एक्स रे पल्सर्स तो जस्ट टू सी दैट हाउ दिस लाइट इज गेटिंग फिल्टर्ड एंड देन हाउ द लाइट इज गेट पोलराइज that needs to be studied and when that polarized light and the source of the polarized light is studied it will lead to seeing that how actually the things are behaving and how the light is getting filtered and this will also lead to for the scientist to see that how many decades back or how many centuries back you i should say or how many million years back the light used to behave and how the origin of the polarized light take took place then in the end a prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section which of the following pair are correctly matched and it is a pyq of the year 2014 and the purpose to give this question is to to see that how the questions are being made you do not have to go into the details upsc does not actually ask you they do not want to make you a scientist and wants you to know every single thing they want you to know the basic things first of all aim of expo set objective of expo set then which country it belongs to then is it the first one how many payloads was there then what is the major aim of it what is polarization of light these are the basic things that you need to know so on one side the spacecraft is given and on the other side the purpose is given first is cassini huggins then orbiting the venus and transmitting data to the earth first second is messenger mapping and investigating the mercury third is voyager 1 and 2 exploring the outer solar system if you people are going through the pyqs then you must have solved this one so tell me choose the correct code one only two and three only one and three only or one two and Three. So give me the answer, and that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet next time. Keep reading and keep writing.